Good morning, folks. I am on the Isle of Wight today, just for a couple of um, three days, two nights. So I've just got here, managed to get expenses paid for. You know, just a little bit, little bit of a break. I need one, although I've got a lot on. You still need a little bit of a rest. And we've got um, the the man Glenn is going to let me camp on his on his farm, and I bought. I bought a rear hood for his combine over from one of my spares machines and a, a, a little uh, control box as well. But, um, you know, I didn't charge too much. It wasn't too much because the, the, the back end wasn't in very good condition anyway, really. And plus, I'm just going to use it as a break. I mean, ideally, I would have liked some more for it, but I felt a little bit, you know, it was a little bit sort of ropey. So I didn't want to sort of be ridiculous about prices. But there you go. Yeah, it's been a... Looking like a good day. I'm going to go for a bit of a cruise around the island in a little while. Um, but this is his model, model Super A Gleaner that he's had on the farm for a number of years. And it was left outside. The engine's actually now in another machine, uh, which you'll see in a little while because I'll show you, do a little video of that. Um, yeah, inspirational stuff because there's a couple of tractors here that actually have been, they've had bigger engines shoehorned in, which is something that I would like to do. I've got a Gleaner. Well, yeah, you know, I've got one um, 6288 engine um, Perkins that I would really like to put in a um, put in a track shoe on into a tractor at some point. I'll just take you for a walk around this combine. Got a nice seat on it. Got a nice reel on it as well, actually. Seat's gone a little bit hard. I think it'd break if you sat on it. Yeah, nice little. So there's a fresher machine there. Look, it's actually got a Galena returns elevator on it. Yeah. See, you've got the, the wheels turned around a view further out. So the wheels are spaced out on these because oh, the, of the slopes. On the hill. Yeah. Yeah. All combines on the wheels like that. Yeah. And I'll probably add a video later of the field yeah, yeah. That, where, we have, where we used to harvest with this combine. And it's really, really steep, you know, by the coast. Yeah, interesting. Obviously, Gleena did road quite well known for, in America for having the hillside models, but they never really took off here. There is stories that there was a couple of Model C hillside combines. I think it'd be a really good thing to have, you know, but I'd love to find one, a British built hillside one, but they are not, they're certainly not a common thing. <laughs> you know, if they exist at all now, I seriously doubt it, but there was a couple of them down on the south coast somewhere. So I've heard anyway, one of my friends told me, you can see how the wheel sticks out there, then. Obviously giving it a bit more of a foothold on the, on the ground. What, what, so what, Mike, drum, is it a Foster? What, the Fresher? Yeah. That's a Marshall. Marshall. And on the back, he got the cut box off the straw back. Yeah, I see that, yeah. yeah. You've seen that, yeah. yeah. And that's a, a class straw trusser for the... Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a low density baler. Yeah. Uh, couldn't get a stationary baiter, so we got a trusser. That works all right. Well, when it, when it, everybody in the scheme to do the fresher, but nobody wants to do them anymore. No. I've got all the kit, you know, I've got this, the fresher, and the binder. Yeah. But nobody wants what? to do them. Well, no, it's a shame because they are quite useful. Oh, yeah. But the trouble is, the skills of using them are dying out. Yeah. You see, I, I was going to get involved with. You know, I did offer to help them, but they, they wanted me to go to the shows every weekend and 
you know, I'd love to learn, but I've got all this stuff going on with the combines. Yeah. I can't literally commit to do, you know, as much as I'd like to learn about how to use one, but yeah. it's a big commitment, you know, and unfortunately, yeah. you know. It's, it's only the same as a combine. It's only the, the, the yeah, the, the thing is, yeah. the actual the actual understanding of, of how to operate one oh, professionally yeah, yeah, yeah. is not something that you can just go and do. If you, no, no, not at all. I tell you what, you want, yeah, you've got to see. It's and, teamwork, isn't it? You've got to see and look at that and learn, you know. Yeah. How to line the belt up and all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. We've got a, a 178 here as well, yeah, yeah. which is a big old thing. Um, Stuart Hancock took the um, took his 168 the other day with the um, with a uh, with like a, a sheet sheet clad um, cab on it that that he's had on the they've had on the farm from new I think um, took it to that show last weekend. But yeah, another interesting old combine. Combine, tractor, sorry. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, catch up with you later. Wait. This is where I'm camping. Just either in this field or there's a, a campsite over there, over this direction. So if you look there, look. That's actually the needles. I used to go camping with friends, right? Over in the distance there, I used to go on the mainland. We used to see the needles from the other side. So probably just over that, exactly over the direction. They used to build a Mary Road. Well, it's where they built the Mary Road years ago. You know, for Henry, when Henry VIII was king. And um, funnily enough, they keep on telling us the sea level's rising. Yet the sea is in still the same place when um, um, William the Conqueror invaded and when Henry, the, I can, you can still go to the place where they built the Mary Rose. So I'm not sure if I believe them somehow. So yeah, there you go. I get too political. But um, yeah, so that's Black Hand China over there. On, uh, on that cliff. And yeah, so it's very nice. Nice little break. Brilliant. Just gonna do a bit for my um, channel. Is that all, is that all right if I f film it and put it on yeah, my YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, this is six three oh four oh five. Yeah. This so five. this is the five liter. Yeah. He come out. He come out. He come out the, the yeah, super, super A. a. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, a wreck of combine out of the motor. Well, I'm I'm buggered up with, with his MS. Right. And it's, it's easier for me to turn the key than the handle. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, when you go to a plow match, you've got to start it three or four times. It's time you put it on the trailer again. Yeah. The trailer or whatnot. So, yeah. if I only had to start up and come out the shed, um, I'd use a TVO. Well, so, I've got, I've got a 6288 engine. Yeah. Uh, which I think would fit quite nicely in something like a major or a, would do, yeah, yeah, yeah. or a, a Nuffield. I know. I was thinking a Nuffield four hundred and sixty, or a, I think four hundred and sixty because it, it, it's, it's a better tractor. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, just because it's that's slightly more simplistic. Yeah. But they're good road speed, and I think you know they were sixty horsepower. Yeah. Well, at two thousand RPM on the combine, the um, the 288 on the, on the humpback leaner or the shortback leaner, the earlier shortback leaners as well, they um, they were that was 70 horsepower, 2000 rpm. I mean, and actually, you notice the difference between that. The the model C is a um, 305 yeah. at 2200 rpm, That's it. 90 horsepower, yeah. and obviously running the C like the the uh, the 
the Model A is quite a quiet little sort of yeah, compo, yeah, gentle yeah. combine. Yeah, yeah. But then you, I noticed the difference when I'm on the C. I've got a Model C actually hasn't got an exhaust on it at the minute. Yeah. You need to find a silencer. Yeah. But it's quite a beast compared. Yeah. But, but anyway, yeah, so this yeah, is... That's a proper combine silencer on there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. That's what I'm after one of them, yeah, if, yeah. if you've got one. But... He's, he's genuine, that one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm after, something like. I mean, it doesn't have to be a genuine original. No, I mean, that'd be nice, but it's... It just has to be something to sit on there, you know. Yeah. Or do you know what? Funnily enough, I, I, my um, my short back EA yeah. uh, needed a bit of work done to it, and actually somebody was throwing away the exhaust off an old um, Toyota Hilux. They put the new exhaust, and I just made it to fit because yeah. I was struggling to find the right stuff. So in the end, I just thought, well, it needs an exhaust, yeah, yeah. so it's just going to have this on it, you know. And um, unfortunately, a lot of them they get. They rot out a bit, don't they, you know? But yeah, so this tractor is um, quite interesting to me. I've got a slightly smaller um, 288. This is obviously 305. Just, I think it's a difference in like 200cc, basically. That's all, but the main, main thing is the same. Only the cc yeah. is a little bit different. Yeah, it's just slightly... It's I just, mean, if you've got your 288 and uh, you was in a, a 460 now, yeah. you've got a cracking tractor. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good little engine. Yeah, yeah, up there in the barn, the Nuffield up there, I've got a 5.1 BMC. Oh, uh, right. Six yeah, the, um, basically that, that combine with the spare engine. I have got a P6 as well, but it's up on some bloke's farm and, uh, some, um, another fellow's got it in the back of his shed yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I could do with it back really, but it's just obviously all the hassle. It's actually the original naturally aspirated P6, yeah, yeah. but um, that's not completely complete. It needs a bit of work to get that going. But this 6288 is on the back of a combine. I had a gearbox failure with my short back, yeah. and, I, and I needed to get some stuff to, to fix it. Yeah. And I wanted the act, I, I managed to find a combine in Lincolnshire that had been on the same farm. Um, all its life, never done any road work, and the 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 axle was immaculate, so I fitted that in. But I still got the the combine sat there for spares, you know, getting bits and pieces. And it's got this six two eight eight on it, which I reckon if I hadn't seized it and freed it off, would be a really good engine. And you know, I think it'd be a fantastic project, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm in two minds whether to keep it. But the the thing is, these combine engines seem to last and last and last, don't oh, yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they you don't, know. Do, don't do nothing. So. Yeah. So there you oh, go. Okay. Right, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that one's my mate Dave. Like, it is, it is funny. They're both model ends, aren't they? Yeah. I know the mod, you get a uh, model F as well. What was it? There's, there is a, I can't remember the difference between there's something to do with the, the shape of here or something. Oh, yeah. You've got, got the hole for take the plug the bits. Right. Yeah. Well, these ransoms plows, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's what, do you know what? It's one thing that I've never um, had much to do. I've never done the plowing. I, it's yeah. one thing that I think I'd like to do, because obviously... Uh, I like the combines so much that yeah. I just seem to always get involved yeah, with combines. Yeah, yeah. So I think to myself, oh, I want to get another project. And the combine comes along. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. I like, yeah. you know, I wouldn't, well, I'd like to get a, ransom, a Ransom's combine. Do you know, I'd like to have a Ransom's 1001. Yeah. Yeah. thing is, they're quite bulky and the headers don't come off them properly. Yeah, yeah. You had to take the whole shit, you had to take the whole elevator off of them. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, these are, these are two match when they are. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. That one over there have been either a champion player or done it, I think he's four times. I've been yeah. champion six times. Oh, uh, okay. He, he'd done it four times that day. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind learning a bit yeah, about it. He'd really. done that four times. This one's I've just done and made it up and got him going. Yeah, yeah. He goes well. So, what, I mean, obviously, I don't really understand. I'll, I'll take it. They, they judge it on straightness and, and the quality, eat, uniform, yeah, 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 yeah. uniformity. Yeah, straightness, uniform with furrows, yeah. start, finish, firmness, use of skimmers. Right. Oh. I have seen people towing little boats 
They go beyond. They go in the channel. That's oatsy. Hmm? That's oatsy. What they call oatsy flour with the floats. Oh, uh, right, yeah, because they're like a little, yeah. they tow little like weights behind that's them. It, yeah, 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 that's oatsy now. That shapes up the grain ready to go sow on before it would make the Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's interesting stuff. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, it's, it's a nice thing to be involved, to be interested in it. Oh, yeah. You know, and I've, like I say, I found that getting involved with combines was relatively simple to get into because there's not that many people, you know, people are queuing up to learn about motorbikes, cars and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and speedboats and whatever, all those sort of things, and airplanes as well. But with combines, you know, people generally don't really give them the time of day, do they really? No, no, just, no, no, it's no, just no, a no. machine, you know, but for me, for some yeah, reason, yeah. I don't even know what it is. It's just something about them yeah. right from an early age. I just wanted to know, I just thought, how did that ever happen? How did that ever, you know, you yeah. see it all moving and you think how it how all operates and how it's clever stuff, really. Well, yeah, it's, it's a thought, you know, the threshold is the first thing and then the compound. It's all interesting. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to go for a cruise around the farm and I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Here at Hill 121. Right, yeah. Here again, another inspirational tractor for me because this is difficult. Yeah, although it's not a, it's not a 410 in the field. Sorry, it's not a 460 in the field, which is probably what I would use to put the engine combine engine in. It is a six-cylinder extended version of it, so it's good for me to look at this and just see, sort of a look, get sort of an idea of how, you know what would be involved in doing it. And there's a few other tractors and stuff in here that I'm just going to show. Yeah, so I'll show you these ones and see if you like them, okay? There's obviously the extending plate there, look. Reinforcer, there's a section being put in there, look. Yeah, very good. What's this? A uh, 275? Uh, that's uh, 414. Oh, right, yeah. International 414. I've got a 380 down here at Hill. Or 380. These for sale, anybody wants them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can't get in there. How much do you reckon it's worth? It, how much do you reckon it would go for? Well, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm looking at sort of twenty cut. Right. Yeah. Well, up around that figure, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm open to negotiations. <laughs> I uh, if I <laughs> if I had a bigger bank balance, I'd be interested. Yeah, I do, I do like it. It's yeah. I mean, everything's done on that. You know. Right. Yeah. 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 Everything works, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I like. That's how I like them. Yeah, I think it'd be a nice. Obviously, just it's the kind of thing that you can just just tinker and make it just how you want it. You know, yeah. just little bits and pieces. You yeah. know, yeah, I mean, like it, make it. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing ain't gonna work. It has never gone wrong. Right. Not yeah. About Thirty years. Yeah. But uh, how things are, I can't get in it. Well, I can. But it's, you only do it once, and now you've had it, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Well, yeah, it is nice. These the kind of things like this, they just go up in value now, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, they appear to be. Yeah, he's nice. You know, it's funny that... He is nice. I mean, you can put your play one there and go on well. I mean, this is pretty... This is, is good. It's a good old thing. But you see that, for me, there's some things that I think, ah, it's just not worth... <laughs> It's not worth it, like these old camper vans, these Volkswagen camper yeah. vans. I mean, they're all right, they're, they're pretty enough things to look at. But when you come down to the basic value of a thing like that, I mean, I struggled to see that they're worth more than like 1,500 quid. Well, Re right. Realistically, and you've got people, I mean, a, a split screen camper van in really good, good original condition, you're talking crazy money. I mean, ridiculous. And they're just not worth it. Yeah, it's just a fashion, a fashion accessory. And, it's you know, Volkswagen. they, yeah, they were originally, I think, they were fashionable with the hippies because it was a snipe at the establishment because it was, it, it, it had na it was sort of related to the Nazi yes. thing. So it was like the American hippies and that was sort of, it was sort of a middle finger up at the, at the establishment, yeah, right, yeah, they, in a doing. weird kind of way, but that's yeah. what it was. That's what made them fashionable with them, you see. Yeah, yeah. But there you go. We've got another couple of Model Ns. Yeah, well, that one there is quite original. She, she, Kubota. She, she is like this one. Uh, I started it up yesterday. She's got his coat on. Yeah, got a coat on, but that's one I always use for playing with that. Still, I got a couple of these on. Really? It's easy to work in clothes, that one. Unmolested, that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. As a regional worker, for everything that's, you know, our colours and a few colleagues. What, what year is that, 1942 or something like that, then? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's a good guess. Yeah, brilliant.